So similar to the previous video, in this case, we are going to do some quadratic equations. And we must have the, the quadratic equation in the standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. So just like this two. Again, uh, we are going to use a calculator. So turn on the calculator, and the best place to go is the mode. And we are trying to do something with the equation, so that's number five. And look at, we have x squared, x, and no x is equal to a number, right? The standard form of the quadratic equation, that's um, option number three. So press three. It's going to ask you what's the value of a, b, and c. And that's exactly the coefficient of x squared, and the coefficient of x, and the number that has no x. Okay, so it's in the standard form. So let me write this down. Since we have x squared, so right here technically you have a 1x squared. So we have a is equal to 1. And the number in front of the x, just an x right here, it's negative 8. So that's the value for b. b is negative 8. c is a number that has no x. So c is equal to 12, positive 12. So we just need to enter these numbers in this uh, order. I have a 1 equal the second one, I have a negative 8. Negative 8 equal third one, I have 12 equal. So enter all this. Then press another equal sign, and I get x1. That's the first answer. That's the first answer, which is 6. So I can say x is equal to 6, or we have the second answer as well. Press down x2, that's the second answer. So that means x can be either 6 or x equal to, equal to 2. Right, both answers will work. 2 and 6 are both solutions of this equation. Try another one. So notice that I just press uh, the arm key and then press the all clear. We can clear all that. So for this one, the a is 6. The number in front of the x squared is just 6. Equal the number in front of the x, it's negative 7. So negative 7 equal the number right here is negative 24. Equal, equal. Then we also get fractions. x1 is equal to um, a over 3. So x can be a over 3 or another one. Second answer, x can also be negative 3 over 2. This is how you do it. This is how you do the quadratic equations on this calculator. Very um, straightforward, very easy, right?